Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters, Zora and Yaga. It was well past curfew. My sister sneaked out of the village. I followed her, as I always did. I took my bow. myself. This time wasn't any different. All I needed was some sticks and feathers. And a bit of work to put them together. Zora is always up to something. Can you see it? See what? The tree. The red oak. The red oak? We've often used it for target practice. Take a good look at it. If anything bad happens, always head straight to the Red Oak. I will meet you there. Uh, Zora? Was it you? Can't stand a second without a leash around your neck? How about you finally go down your own path? I... I just want to survive. No matter the cost. I always try to think about what's good for me. Trying is all you could ever do. <laughs> you got it all wrong. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. How much longer you want to be a nobody? You just follow in your sister's footsteps. How far will you go when she's not around? Zora's got a, a plan. She always has one. It's time you had a fucking plan. You wanna hide here in the woods? You can't hide from Baba, princess. I just need to find the Red Oak. The Red Oak. <laughs> if anything bad happens... Stop it! Then forget the goddamn oak! What you really wanna find is... The hut. <gasps> what? Why? Is it drilling into your little head? The hut. The hut! Just another bad dream. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Zora went missing. First, I have to get some food to get my strength back. I keep having nightmares since Baba the Witch started snatching kids from the village. Volko, Savitza, Draggery.
Levers of life keep on spinning my thread. Problem, little one. That's my good deed for the day. Oh, it's a big one. I hope I can take it down. Without Zora. <laughs> He's tough. It'll need more than one shot. Your blood won't go to waste. It shall flow through my heart forever now, because we are one. Now meat goes over the fire. I'm hungry. A bite from that spider can kill in seconds. I'd better fix myself an antidote, just in case. These monsters trap birds just for fun. I can try to force them open. Fly away.
People have always accused me of helping Baba. Called me a... a freak. When Zora disappeared too, there was nobody left to put the angry mob away. So, here I am. Finding my sister is my only option now. I need to get to the Red Oak. I could have set the bird free. In a way I just did. So good. Looks fine. I'm looking for a lost sister. Who's that? Is it a ghost? Where are you leading me? Oh no. It's... The hut. The one we saw three years ago. The same that haunts my every dream. <sighs> I'll just sneak a peek. Look for any sign of Zora. for the master of the house. They're hissing, huh? <sighs> My mask. It's trembling. Again, but this is not a dream. 
Well, shit, it fucking isn't. Surprised? Don't you remember all the times I saved your ass before? I... What do you... Better get used to it. This time I'm gonna stay for a good while, princess. I'll also help you get out of this shit you're in. Um... <sighs> the roots have overgrown this place. Ugh. We'll deal with it. Oh, is this... The one who watches over the world. But look what's happened to him. And to the world. Let him feed off of what you've brought. Press the seal. The seal? Your mask. Goddamn kids always get their crumbs in the yard. <laughs> See the vines? Whoa. Not bad. Forest has been crawling with these lately. There's that ghost again. Is it just my imagination? Or it looks a bit like Dragoy. Oh God, the bridge is broken. I can't... So you're gonna stand here forever now? I could try jumping over. <gasps> no. Figure out something that makes sense. About you in old folk tales. Never thought you'd turn out to be real, though. What are you? Oh, oh shoot! A human girl, and she's holding a bow. Should we? Wait. This mask on her face. Don't know why exactly, but it makes her look almost familiar. Not many of your kind coming here. Have you lost your way, girl? Oh, I like her bow. It's such a nice bow. Uh, can I touch it? Did she come alone? Uh, where's Keep she? Keep it down, kids. Can't you see the grown-ups are talking? I'm... I'm looking for someone. And, well, the trail goes over the broken bridge, so... See, Borvi? The bridge is broken. It must have been the fire drake that burnt it. You mean a dragon? A vile, bloodthirsty reptile? No way you've got a real one here. Of course we haven't. A dragon just happens to be the best cover-up for whoever's behind that honey hustle. Anyway, they call me Borvi Borka. 
Slippery Jack at your service. My name's Yaga. What kind of name is that? <laughs> What's that short for? Quit your jabbering. I can't hear what she's saying. Would you... Would you happen to know another way across the river? Oh, there is no other way, I'm afraid. We could rebuild the bridge for you, but... Or rather have a bunch of beavers do it for us. Yeah, we sure could do this. But we need to take care of the fire drake first. <sighs> I wonder if this... this terrible, mighty dragon and, uh... ghost I saw a while ago could be linked somehow. Did you... happen to see it too? Oh, a ghost, huh? I'm afraid I didn't. The restless souls reveal themselves only to whom they choose. And sometimes they can carry... Lost memories. Lost memories? Yes. The ones you both share. You have to catch the ghosts and relive the memories so the lost soul can finally rest. Some say it's nearly impossible that you may lose everything, including your life. But trust me, it's worth the risk. Because by helping the ghosts, you might help yourself, too. Hmm. We all carry our own burdens. Ah, uh, yes. Such as the fire drake. Dragons used to be something you would rather hear about from the elders. Stories about beasts breathing fire, eating sheeps, but honey. The beast, this bloody hole eater, built its nest somewhere in our forest. Sometimes it sticks its ugly head from a cave and demands offerings. Honey's enough for it, now. But the spring's just begun. It might grow hungry for meat, or mushrooms. What a pile of rubbish! There is no bloody dragon. Just greed, vice, and deception. Honey is liquid gold. It rules the world, corrupts people. No wonder someone's using that for their own benefit. And we still can't afford to lose a single drop anymore. Hmm. Guess I won't know who's right until I find out on my own. It seems you've got a really burning issue here with the beast on your shoulders. But I really need to get across the bridge. So maybe we can help each other out? You seem like a crafty lass. Help us get rid of the beast, and we'll get the bridge fixed for you. Well, I'm not exactly a dragon slaying type. Oh, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Go find Rebel, a rather peculiar cursed type. He's a friendly face, even if it's a bit hard to tell. <laughs> He'll tell you what's what. Dragon or not, this thing needs to be taken care of. But you should start by finding my friend, the Noble Grand Knight. And get yourself a good luck charm, such as... A horseshoe. <laughs> In any case, you should follow the dragon's roar. The roar? <laughs> Just go to the caves west from here. All right. I'll see what I can do. Off to a great adventure I am. <laughs>
have to go hunting to get some meat first. I think I know this place. I was here, like... It's been a year now. Painful memories. Good. Pain means you're not dead. Yet. Oh, crap. The wasps that big? Willow what? <laughs> The sinister lights leading me straight to hell. Willow wasps. I like it. upon a fucking shooting star. Mm. Tremble before our might, puny mortal. Soon, the rivers will flow with the blood of all who dare to oppose the eternal empire of ants. I... I beg your mercy, my Queen Empress. Enough! Show me the way to the human settlement, so I can lead my merciless army and pour my wrath upon them. Those rivers of blood don't really sound too good to me. There will be no alliance between us and Queen. Soon, all will know the true meaning of horror. You can do it. Interesting. Stay out of that bag And finally become a hero in your own story. <laughs> Taking its life for my own needs. I don't see you. Just a regular stick. Nothing more. there a peasant have you lost your way to the village serf oh what a gallant steed you are bovi boko sent me to help you with that honey case huh. he sent you <sighs> well then it seems the time has come to earn your valor squire we need to stop that 
filthy dragon from gorging on our people. We'll serve it some proper justice instead. Squire, huh? <clears throat> How do you propose we proceed, my lord? I have designed a special piece of siege machinery. A work of wonder. We will push it into the dragon's lair, where it shall bestow God's will upon the beast. The problem is we're still missing black powder. I need someone small and sneaky for the job. <sighs> Something tells me this is where I step in. Correct. You'll need to retrieve it from a bloody outlaw's lair. Rebel God's curse his name. Slippery Jack's friend? Why won't you go, sir? Well, uh... <laughs> Good one. Rebel is one of the cursed, of course. And I am a grand. Without further ado, shall we free the land of the dragon's reign? The Grand and the Cursed. Borvi and Jack said something about that too. So there's two kinds of you mushrooms? Can't you work together to defeat the mighty dragon? Oh, the bloody cursed mushrooms hate all the law-abiding citizens. In their drunken minds, they became convinced that being just and virtuous is too boring for them. Alas. Virtue is persecuted by the wicked more than it is loved by the good. And the dragon? That's a foe of all the virtuous. Have you... Have you ever seen the beast? But of course! It sticks its ugly head from one of the pits. Uh, sometimes. Not to mention all the unholy sounds and poisonous fumes. Mm-hmm. Right. I think I'm good to go. Uh, I, I mean... I shall not wait any longer to obtain the most wondrous artifact from the Defiler's Domain. <sighs> Splendid! Retrieve the powder! When you're done, you'll find me at my... Anything wrong? Can you hear it? The enemy is approaching! Stand and fight for your life! <sighs> there are too many of them. <sighs> Whoa. It does that? I used to hate this thing. Stuck on my hand and... You figured it out at last. That fancy gauntlet of yours. Learn, act, repeat. I'll try. Not bad. It feels refreshing. Time. Oh, uh, good day to you, Mr. Mr. Lava. Not a very good day to be alive, I gotta say. All underworlds are rage. The others protesting, lost souls reading around, and made tunnels blocked by those awful roads. Gotta dig the terrace. It's got me all twisted. Tell me, miss, did I go up or did I go down? 
must have gone up to get here, Mr. Lava. Oh, yes. That's so. Thank you, miss. I should get back to work. Demons aren't going to make themselves, are they? Things will get serious now. <laughs> huh. Now, make it special. Boost your shot with this energy. How the hell? Hmm. We're getting somewhere. Now. What was it the mushroom wanted? the time and work to build these in only one arrow to break them. <laughs> You're such a monster. Out with a bang. Watch where you're going, princess.
an old ritual statue. They spilled those to ward off the winter. <sighs> Days of yore. Weapons of war for our enemies to scour in fear. I'm afraid I'm no blacksmith, Your Highness. A bow and some arrows is all I've got. Arrows! A strategic resource for the conquest. Bring me five arrows, and the Empire of Ants will annihilate all that stands in its way. I will not aid your evil crusade, Queen. The murderous campaign will continue. With or without your help. I'll be damned. Look who's there! It's the little giddy goat sent by the stiff-necked knight to rob me of the explosives! I'm not all warmed up after the nap, but it's still gonna be enough for you. <laughs> one stone, one dead raven! The mushroom's blood is still warm, as the girl in the peculiar mask lives his lair. Isn't that a lovely scene? Don't mind the poor soul here. He will grow back anyway. That is how mushrooms are. Coming here was a dead end, though. You can deliver the package later. But at the end of the day, that's not what gets you past the bridge. What if the dragon is... The dragon is just an idea, a facade, to the real problems of the forest. Take this pot of honey, plant a lure, take cover and see who shows up. I'm sure the result may surprise us. All right, I'll see what I can do.
You could always shoot the hive down. It can save your sorry ass. You gotta learn every way to crawl out of your own grave. <coughs> Hi, miss. Fancy seeing you again. Miss, I'll be honest with you. If I don't get sticks and stones to break old bones, soon there won't be any room left for new corpses. I already have some stones, but sticks are illegal in the underworld. Do you think you could discreetly help me out with, uh, five sticks? Y yeah. It so happens I might just have some top-tier quality sticks for you from under the table. Thank you so much for your good deed, miss. If you ever end up dead, there will be a cozy place down there for you. You have my word.
Skulls Camp. Well done, Miss Right Place, Right Time. Keep quiet. <laughs> How nice. Someone came to dinner. Too bad you didn't give us a chance to tidy up the place first. So much dirt everywhere. I guess we need to at least sweep the floors. What is this? Get over here, you little piece of shit. <laughs> they can't resist it. <laughs> All right, take care of them. Thank <laughs> you. 
can be just, but your she is patient. Oh, spit it out already. But we've never met. Oh, he thinks you're her. She must have been here. Zora, do you know where she... Uh, where I went when we met last time? Kill Zor. Some of us die for nothing. Some of us live for nothing. Queen of the Unstoppable Empire, demand proof of your loyalty. I want you to slay the birds in the name of the Ant Queen. Bring me five feathers to prove your zeal. I will not bow to your will, vile usurper. One day you will taste the wrath of the Ant Legion, and it will be your last. So, oh, this must be the dragon's den. Time to drop the lure somewhere around. Now, for some hiding spot. Let's see what happens. one are you looking for something here oh, um me why would i look for honey i i don't even like honey i never said you were looking for honey N neither did i listen kid my name's twig what are you really doing here twig i'm uh, uh trying to save blossom my sister the dragon got her she's in the cave you gotta help me Dragon, huh? Well, I might as well take a look inside. You sure? I'm not taking its life for my own needs. She went this way. What's that noise? Well, the terrible dragon, of course. Just a little bit further. Did she really go there? She sure did. You have to jump down now. Jump down? There? 
You've got to be kidding me. Don't worry, there's another way out. Blossom, are you there? Blossom! Uh, take it easy. I'm going for her. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that! You're not the only one. Twig, I'll get you for this! <laughs> oh, you're not going anywhere! <laughs> 